Welcome back. We're here with Kimo Mansare with uh, Lloyd Minster Local Immigration Partnership uh, Cor as a coordinator. Uh, Kimo, welcome. Welcome, <coughs> and thanks for having me well, here. Glad to have you here. So let's explain what you do exactly. What is it that the Immigration Partnership Coordinator means? Uh, the Im Local Immigration Partnership, uh, as the name sounds, is a partnership. This is, is an initiative by the IRCC uh, <coughs> Immigration Refugee Settlement and mm -hmm. Citizenship Canada. Uh, is my role is to actually bring organizations, institutions uh, together so that we can identify the gaps, the needs and the resources and find ways that we can better support immigrants in our community. How big of a deal is it here in Lloydminster? Obviously there's a lot of different immigrants that I've seen. Uh, it's pretty eclectic and pretty multicultural here in Lloyd. When we had the boom, there's a lot of immigrants here, and a lot of them are actually bringing families. So the immigrant population is growing, yeah. and it is integral that uh, it's important that we actually find ways to attract more and retain them. Not only attract them here, but retain them in Lloydminster. So how did you get into doing this? Obviously, you come from Sierra Leone, West Africa. I know the story. We'll get into that in a bit. But how did you get into becoming this? I was initially uh, involved in the ELIP, mm -hmm. as it's called in Edmonton, the Edmonton Local Immigration Partnership. I was part of the founding um, members there mm -hmm. who participated in the the creation of that. So there was an opportunity for me to come down here. Mm -hmm. I have always loved giving back to my community, especially helping immigrants. Yeah. So I then apply for the position and then yeah, I am. Beautiful, and you're part of a lot of different organizations. Obviously, Lloyd Fest happened, and there's also a whole bunch of other stuff with the blanket uh, ceremony that uh, you guys did, and that kind of stuff as well, too, right? Yes, exactly. So when I came here, one of the things is, what can attract and retain immigrants to our local community? Uh, I did a research, uh, needs assessment research, and one of the things that was identified, they are not many activities that actually immigrant, immigrants can relate to. So I happened to cross paths with uh, a Susan who is part of the advisory council of the local immigration partnership. So we talked about it and asked how I encouraged her to create a nonprofit. I uh, supported her and we had the first uh, Lloyd Fest, which was successful. Beautiful. You do a lot of stuff here. Let's talk a little bit about being from Sierra Leone. Obviously, you were a refugee. You came here. You immigrated here after or you were a refugee here. Let's talk a little bit about that. And you were shot at one point. Tell me a little bit about that story. Um, if uh, you have watched Blood Diamond, it's a movie that actually depicts the war in my country because Sierra Leone is a diamond place. And so I immigrated here in 2002 and my neck here, if you see there's a bu big hole here, a bullet entered here and came out and my, fa my parents were killed in that war. And I actually came here as a refugee in 2002 and I have loved giving back to the community because Red Cross actually saved my life during that war. So when I immigrated here, I always wanted to give back to my community. Wow, well, I know we're wrapping up, but I know about Red Cross and being a refugee, I'm a refugee as well too. Lots happening with you. Where can people find you to find more information on your stuff that you're doing? Uh, definitely, uh, if you go to the Catholic Social Services, that's where my office is. I <coughs> am based there, the Catholic Social Services, and We'll be having the blanket exercise, uh, so diversity and inclusion forum, wherein I want to bring the indigenous people, immigrants, and locals in Lloydminster. So we come together and do some various things, and we'll ha be having that very shortly. Beautiful. I love it. I'm glad we had you here. We're running out of time, obviously, but uh, Kimo, thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for having me, and I'm hoping that uh, we'll have more of these uh, in the future to for talk sure. about how important we all are to sure. Lloydminster. Yes, let's have you back. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.